안녕하십니까 이존치과의 손영희입니다. Greetings, I'm Dr. Son Young-hee of Eagle Dental Clinic. Today I want to look at a patient with the number 16 missing in today's online surgery. The plan is to give implant treatment. If you look at intraoral image, there's nothing special on panoramic image. Number 16 is missing and there is bone tack. Because there was lack of vertical bone height, the sinus graft was done first. As I was performing that, sinus perforation occurred. Pin was used with collagen membrane to manage sinus perforation and bone graft was performed. After a certain period, we decided to go with the surgery under the premise that there has been a certain level of regeneration. On CT, there is not satisfactory amount of uh, vertical bone regeneration. On the palatal side, there is slight bone defect. The plan was to use one cast kit for this patient. In the surgical report, when you measure using CT, implant was positioned virtually, the mesial and uh, distance to the sinus uh, differed significantly. The longest distance was 8.39 millimeters and the shortest was 5.15 millimeters. In this case, we need to start with a short one first. Partial perforation should be done. Sinus floor elevation followed by hydraulic lift should be done. After that, you can do full depth drilling. That is the safe way to move forward. I want to show you through this surgical clip how to proceed when the distance to the sinus differ.
Did you enjoy the surgical clip? When you use one cast for surgery, it's not much to see in terms of surgical clip. Template was adapted before surgery and implant was placed nicely. Primary stability was sufficient. Healing abutment was connected and surgery was closed. If you look at the panoramic image, implant was placed like this on CT. In a certain sense, the level of bone regeneration was quite insufficient. However, implant was placed in ideal position. As you can see, the amount of bone contact on the mesial side and distal side differ significantly. In the case of this patient, the plan is to deliver vinyl prosthesis after four months as of surgery so as to allow sufficient healing. What I want to say through this surgical clip is that if there is a difference in bone level, mesiodistally or buccally or palatally, you need to start with the short side first. Even with a partial perforation, sinus floor elevation is possible. You need to do elevation first and then do full depth drilling. This is the safer way to proceed. You can use one cast kit for this. Thank you for watching.